Hello and welcome to Worldwide Watch on CCTV International. I'm Liang Hong in Beijing. We begin in Mexico, where the government has ordered schools to close nationwide as the suspected death toll from a swan flu climbed to 149. Health Secretary Jose Cordova says only 20 of the deaths have been confirmed to be from swan flu. The government is awaiting test results on the other cases. He says that nearly 2,000 people have been hospitalized with serious cases of uh, pneumonia since the first. The first case of swine flu was reported on April the 13th. The government doesn't yet know how many of those cases are swine flu. Of those hospitalized, 1,070 have been released. Meanwhile, an earthquake registering magnitude 5.6 on the Richter scale has hit southern Mexico. The quake struck on Monday at around noon. The quake was felt in Mexico City and the main cities of the state of Guerrero to the south of the national capital, Mexico City. Officials reported damage to two buildings in the city. Four other buildings showed cracks and are being investigated. The city government is monitoring airports and public transport facilities across 16 boroughs, but there are no signs of damage. No one has been reported hurt. Travel and leisure-related stocks sank on Monday as the World Health Organization warned the spread of swine flu has the potential to cause a worldwide pandemic. The swine flu virus has so far killed no one outside Mexico, but the fact that it has appeared to spread quickly between humans has raised fears. Shares fell as investors fear the curb of trade flow. If manufacturing is a hit, it would be a further shock to the already fragile global economy. The Spanish stock exchange fell sharply as the country became the first in Europe to confirm a case of swine flu. The World Health Organization has raised its pandemic alert for new strain of swine flu by one to level four. The phase of four alert means that there is a sustained human-to-human -human transmission in at least one country and is two levels short of declaring a full pandemic. The WHO said that an evolving crisis could easily push the pandemic alert higher or lower in the coming days. Meanwhile, WHO spokesman Gregory Houtel said U.S. health officials have taken the first steps toward producing a vaccine against the virus. We understand that uh, U.S. CDC, for example, has already taken a uh, wild virus and is, has produced a vaccine virus strain and is currently growing. Uh, this strain, this virus in eggs, which is the first stage in a vaccine production process. And um, we've seen the media reports like you that uh, uh, some vaccine manufacturing companies are already preparing to produce this uh, a vaccine against this strain of A1N1. A1H1N1. So we certainly know that there has, that the work has begun to produce uh, a vaccine. The, w, uh, the World Health Organization and the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say there have been 40 confirmed cases of swine flu in the United States. U.S. President Barack Obama says the threat of spreading swine flu inflection is a cause for concern, but not alarm. Obama told a meeting of the National Academy of Sciences on Monday that the administration is closely monitoring cases of swine flu. He says the swine flu threat dramatizes how the United States cannot allow itself to fall behind in scientific and medical research. We are closely monitoring the emerging cases of swine flu in the United States. And this is obviously a cause for concern and requires a heightened state of alert. But it's not a cause for alarm. The Department of Health and Human Services has declared a public health emergency as a precautionary tool to ensure that we have the resources we need at our disposal to respond quickly and effectively. China's Ministry of Health has issued a notice about disease prevention and detection, warning citizens to take extra care with a personal hygiene. The notice defines the symptoms of the disease and how it can be transmitted from pigs to humans. The Health Ministry is working with the Ministry of Agriculture and the General Administration of Quality Supervision, Inspection and Quarantine to monitor the disease. The Ministry is in close cooperation with the World Health Organization and the U.S. and Mexican government to get the latest information and prepare for a possible outbreak of the disease. Now let's take a